Now, sharp criticism tonight for the Department of Children and Families over whether it could have done anything regarding this local couple charged with murdering the woman's five-year-old daughter. Just within the past 45 minutes, DCF got back to us saying while it did have contact with the woman's children in the past, it did not find evidence of maltreatment. News for Jax was in the courtroom this morning when both Michelle Cannamore and Jonte Harris went before the judge. The two have been in jail for the past 14 days. First, they were charged with aggravated child abuse. Now they are charged with murdering Zykeria Robinson. News for Jax reporter Jim Pickett joins us live from the jail where he talked to an adv advocacy group, which is questioning whether DCF could have stepped in sooner. Jim? Well, Tarek, the question really is this. What did DCF know beforehand? Did this couple have DCF out there before investigating prior to this death? Well, family members say yes, DCF had been here before. But in reports that I just received from DCF, they indicate, yes, they'd had contact, but no problems were found. There's no argument that five-year-old Zykeria Robinson died a horrible death. Police reports say doctors found severe head trauma from physical abuse. Doctors also say old injuries were there that indicate long-term abuse. From police reports, here's what we know happened earlier this month. It says the girl's mother is blaming her boyfriend, Jonte Harris, claiming he had abused the girl since August. She went on to say that Harris hit Zykeria over and over again in the face until she was unconscious. When Harris was questioned by police, the report says he admitted he got enraged because the girl was being disrespectful. The report says Zykeria was left unconscious on the couch when her mother left for work on October 17th and was still there when she came home the next day. 911 was called and the girl died at the hospital. The couple had nothing to say in court today, only that they needed a court-appointed attorney. After the hearing, we talked to one advocacy group, Safe Haven of Northeast Florida. The group's executive director says DCF is also at fault here. Kathy Swafford says the child's grandparents have been trying to get custody of Zykeria and her six-year-old sister and had talked to DCF before the beating death. They knew the abuse was happening, maybe not to the extent, but they still knew it um, because when the autopsy was done, she had, you know, multiple injuries in different healing stages. And of course, I'm trying to find out what the Department of Children and Families has to say about this case. They have responded before by issuing a statement on it's so sad, but we wanted to find out if they've been here before and if they took any action in the past. In the past hour, DCF just sent us this report, which said they did have contact with the children in a prior investigation, but not involving the mother or her boyfriend. And in this case, they didn't find any problems or any maltreatment. As we had mentioned, the couple is still here in the Duval County Jail. No bond was listed at all. In fact, they're due back in court in November. As for the little girl's sister, the six-year-old, she is now in foster care. We're live at the jail. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station.